Hi, Assalamualaikum. We are Group 2 from JEC 1103A. We will explain about the construction in progress account and how to calculate it. Due to the length of time to complete a contract, it is important to determine revenue to be recognized for each accounting period. We also need to count the expenses incurred based on our accounting period. So that's why it is important to know the date and how long is the term of one accounting period. Next, all the direct costs of the contract are debited to the specific contract and overheads are apportioned accordingly. When constructing the construction in progress account, the direct materials that are used on site need to be debited. For example, materials issued to site from store and materials bought direct at site. Meanwhile, the unused materials during the construction phase need to be credited, such as materials at site at the end of period, materials written to store, and materials written to supplier. The third step in doing construction in progress account is we have to look for any information that talks about our plan, property, or equipment. So, additional information 3 states that there are depreciation in our machinery. So, what are the values should be considered on the debit side of the account and at the credit side of the account? So basically, the debit side of the account, we have to put the value at the beginning of the machinery that we brought into site. As for the credit side, we have to put the value at the end of the period of the machinery. So usually, students make mistake that we, they put the value of the depreciation at the credit side. So we have to be extra careful when doing this. Next, we need to apportion the direct expenses accordingly. There are two expenses in this construction in progress account, which are set wages paid, which amounted to RM190,000, and general expenses paid, which amounted to RM55,000. Basically, we already know that both expenses should be placed on the debit side. Plus, based on the additional information 1 and 2, it states that the prepaid general expenses for the period are RM35,000, and it needs to be placed on the credit side. Then later, we have to brought down the prepaid general expenses on the debit side on 1st November 2021. Meanwhile, the accrued side wages on the contract are RM10,000 and need to be placed on the debit side. After that, we need to brought down accrued side wages to the credit side on 1st November 2021. So that's all from me about the direct expenses. Okay, now we move to the fraud step. Contract revenue. Contract revenue is credited to the construction in progress account. Uh, contract revenue have two method, which are output method and input method. Uh, in this uh, question, it's required to use output method. Output method is using the value of fraud certified as proportion of contract price. To find the contract revenue, first, we need to find the value of fraud certified. And secondly, we need to calculate the percentage of completion. To get the uh, percentage of completion, uh, value of work certified must be divided with total contract price and uh, multiply with 100%. So we will get the percentage of completion. And finally, to get the contract revenue, uh, we just need to uh, multiply the percentage of completion with total contract price. Another method which is always used in contract revenue is the input method or we call it as cost basis. The proportion of contract costs incurred for the work performed to date to the estimate total contract cost. To find contract revenue using this method, firstly we need to find the percentage of completion which is using the formula cost of work done divided by estimate total contract cost and then multiply by 100%. Then we will get the percentage of completion. Therefore, to find the contract revenue recognized, we need to multiply the percentage of completion with the contract price. At last, we will get the value for the contract revenue. That's all for the explanation about construction in progress account. Thank you.